Patrick Henry was born May 29, 1736, in Hanover County, Virginia, to John and Sarah Henry. His father was an immigrant from Scotland, and his mother was a wealthy widow. Henry received most of his education from his father and uncle. He played the fiddle and flute. He attended church with his mother from an early age and heard many sermons. When Henry was 15, he helped his father with the family store. This was Henry's first of many jobs he would have over the years. He married Sarah Shelton and they had six children. With his marriage, he received some farmland and grew tobacco for a few years until their farmhouse burned down. He then worked with his father-in-law, running a tavern and started studying law. He became a lawyer in 1760. Henry was a really good lawyer. His reputation grew with the Parsons Cause case in 1763. He entered politics in 1765 when he was elected to the House of Burgesses. Henry spoke out against the Stamp Act of 1765. Many said his comments were treason. His speaking ability and stance against Britain helped fuel other colonists to protest and take up arms. In 1774, he was a delegate to the Continental Congress in Philadelphia. During the convention, he met Samuel Adams, and they both became vocal about revolution. One of Henry's famous quotes is as follows. The distinctions between Virginians, Pennsylvanians, New Yorkers, and New Englanders are no more. I am not a Virginian, but an American. The following year, at the Virginia Convention, during a speech, Henry gave his most famous quote, Give me liberty or give me death. The Revolutionary War started a few months later. Henry became the first commander-in-chief of the Virginia militia, but resigned after six months. He became the first governor of Virginia. As governor, he supported the war efforts by sending supplies and equipment to George Washington. He also sent George Rogers Clark to fight against the British in Ohio and Kentucky. He served a total of five terms as Virginia's governor. Henry was an anti-federalist and feared that the federal government could turn out to be similar to the British monarchy. He did not attend the Constitutional Convention in 1878 because he did not feel the document upheld states' rights. In 1790, Henry retired from politics and focused on his law practice. He was approached to hold many offices, Supreme Court Justice, Secretary of State, and Attorney General, but turned them all down. His first wife had died in 1775. He remarried Dorothea. Henry had a total of 17 children. In his final days, Henry was convinced to run for office in the Virginia legislature by George Washington. He won, but died on June 6, 1799, at his home at Red Hill, Charlotte County, Virginia. Hope you've enjoyed learning about Patrick Henry. He was one of America's founding fathers. If not for his writings, speeches, and protests, colonists may not have rebelled against Britain. There is no record of Patrick Henry ever stepping foot in Kentucky, but he did make some important decision for the state. His biggest connection to Kentucky today is Henry County. The 31st County of Kentucky is named after Patrick Henry. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.